reacts to the uh my voice ha hey ho ha e ha oh very cool hi guys uh today i'm going to um as a form of relaxation uh i'm gonna hike from north bray church uh here at the solano avenue east bay berkeley up to tilden park across the uh east bay hills south to uh the that redwood park i don't know it's somewhere written on the screen um and then we'll hike down to alameda if i can make it i may be too tired it's about 20 something miles of hiking through the east bay and this video in this video you'll see some of the things i saw some highlights near the top of something some cars here You can see the slot. This is really interesting. You can see how the fog rolls in like that, right around Berkeley and into Richmond. And that's where the good sailing is, right where that fog is coming in. Look at that. You can actually see it. Fascinating. I wonder how they keep those fields green. Probably, I mean, it's California, so they've probably invented some sort of alternative water, you know? Um, maybe, they, maybe I don't know if the approach is technical, some, something Stanford developed, some alternative to water, or if it's spiritual, if there's a spiritual way to keep your football fields um, green during a drought. I don't know. This little guy thought he could hide from me. See the blue in his belly? That's that California alligator lizard. They're very cool. This is a big one. You can see the beautiful blue there. Isn't that gorgeous? Gotcha, you fuck. Can't hide from me. Can't hide from me. What's that beautiful color? God damn, that's beautiful. Allah! Focus. Check this out. It's one of them creatures. Where is it? Where is it? Son of a bitch, it's hard to find. There it is. Look at that. why this didn't exist but I guess it does and we're gonna do it someday we can sail around the freaking thing we can walk around the freaking thing we can cycle around the freaking thing it's gonna be fun here's an interesting species whose name I don't remember we'll look it up when we get home and obviously it's an aster you can see here the little freaking focus Ugh. You can see that it is comprised of little flowers. It is a composite. Each one of those florets is a flower. And you can see the, the ligules are down to almost nothing. The, the flowers that have petals big enough to make you think it's a flower are barely big enough. What an incredible flower. When we get home, we'll look it up. We'll find out what it is. And then we'll know.
come a fair way south. Uh, there's Oakland, right there. And uh, there's San Francisco, right there. There's the uh, Salesforce dildo. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, we're going to keep walking until we get to Alameda. Here we go. This is one of the Manzanitas. I don't know which one to talk about in the park. Maybe it's the pallid one. See the slightly dentate leaves. Very soft. Very beautiful. Okay, this is apparently the pallid Manzanita. Uh, I, I know that um, thanks to this, uh, this tool. There you go. There you go. There you go. So what we saw earlier is something else. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. We should put some condos here. Okay, here's a new one for us amateurs. Uh, it talks about the golden fuzz. And sure enough, And you can see your golden fuzz. Definitely thick and, you know, designed for a somewhat dry habitat. The, uh, you have to look up what family this is in. It's, it's certainly not flowering right now, so I have no idea what it's related to. I always associate the chinquapin with oak trees, so we'll see. We'll see what that is. Here's more of that, though. Now I know it. What is it again? Castanopsis. Castaño. No es un castaño. Castanopsis. And check this out. Oh, check it out. These are the burrs. This is the, uh... Interesting. It, why would it have this? Does it not want to get eaten? And look at this. This is obviously uh, the remains of uh, something male. So maybe it's, um, that makes me think that it's, uh, uh, what's it called when um, it's uh, monoecious, but the male and female flowers uh, are separate on the tree, on the plant. So yeah, there you go. How you doing, jogger? I think he's doing real good. Pretty sexy. These motosukas get big. Look at that. Look at that. Lanceolate with a waviness. Here we go. This one's Crustacea. All right. And uh, we have that, just like Arbutus, we have that incredible. Incredible bark. And here we go. These guys are pointing pointing up. I wonder if they're pointing up to protect themselves from uh, from the heat, from the sun. Hello hiker. Hey. Here's that chinquapin again. Look at that. Gorgeous. From reading the literature, uh, I found out that uh, this is the burrow of the manzanita they're talking about. And uh, back when uh, people used to let this place burn, this was uh, this plant would um, re-sprout from the burrow. The burrow would, would be somewhat fire resistant, and after the fire had passed, these manzanitas could sprout up and reach maturity much faster than the uh, competition. So that's pretty cool. Well, the way things are going, I think we'll have fires here soon enough, unfortunately, but also fortunately. So uh, that's that. Here we go, some Arctostaphylos fruit. Uh, there's another video on my channel about, uh, I read some papers on uh, how the fruit is designed to attract um, birds. And um, uh, well, some study about what, what sorts of fruits, invasives or non-invasives, what sorts of fruits do birds prefer, invasives or non-invasives. 
Anyway, there you go, manzanita fruit. I guess, I guess this stuff I've, been, I've seen all along the trail is so-called huckleberry, vaccinium ovatum, ovatum. Uh, I recall seeing white flowers on this, uh, so maybe we'll find something. I don't know, it's out of season. We gotta keep an eye. Dentate leaves, pinkish stem. Oh, there's a bird there. What kind of bird is that? Wrong again. Maybe the flowers are white, but the fruits are definitely uh, blue. 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 Here we go. Check her out. Okay, this is another one of our Manzanita friends. I don't know. I don't know if this is our Butus from uh, Europe, or if this is uh, actually Arctostaphylos of some sort, or some sort. But there you go. Whatever that species is, he's fucking huge. Look at that. The big motherfucker. He's no one. Yeah, pretty big. Okay, so now I'm in the uh, Robert something or other park thingy, and I'm descending down to some creek, and then we should see some redwoods. And then we uh, have to muster the energy to climb over the ridge, and then down to Alameda, uh, in order to visit our friend. I can't explain this. I have seen this now for the last 10 miles. Shit bags. I assume dog shit bags. In this case, compostable, beside the trail. Now, what's the logic here? Are they going to come back and pick it up on the way back? That's a possibility. Maybe that's what they're doing. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen a lot that were forgotten. Maybe they were forgotten. Maybe they meant to pick them up, and then they just forgot to pick up their shit bags. What's the point of bagging the shit on a trail when you can kick it to the side? I, this is what I don't understand. What's with the shit bags? Why are they taking, going through the trouble of grabbing a warm fucking turd if they're just going to leave it there. If you're just going to leave it there, fucking kick it off to the side of the road. It's a fuck. I mean, the coyotes leave there. You don't, you don't see coyotes bagging their, tra their, their crap. I don't understand the doggy bags, you know? Here's, here's some, this may be horse stuff. What is this? Yeah, this is horse stuff, you know? What the hell, man? I just don't get it. Okay, yet another herp. This is that one with the uh, orange belly. Look at this creature. You look at this fucking creature. He can barely get up. Look at this guy. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh. I don't think he's poisonous. He's definitely not poisonous. He didn't like being touched, did he? Isn't he beautiful? That was a cool herp, wasn't it? We'll find out what he is later. Here we are in the little redwood grove. I wonder if this is a uh, regrowth, second growth, or if it's uh, original. Probably second growth. I bet you this was mostly logged. But it does give you an idea that the Bay Area once had uh, was surrounded by redwoods, I assume, in many places up in these hills. So uh, let's continue walking and see what we can find. According to the sign, these are uh, second and third generation clones of the trees that uh, once grew here, chopped down in the 1800s. Maybe, maybe we can see greatly rotted remains of the, the original trees. I guess they had a diameter of many meters. While it's sad that they are gone, I guess it's glad something's here. Something. Climbing out of the ridge, out of the canyon, through the redwoods. It's very beautiful. All you hear is maybe the airplanes and the occasional people having a conversation. It 
so quiet. Listen to the room you're in. What kind of sounds are there? Is there a washing machine? How about the motor of a refrigerator? Car, car horns? I hear jays, I heard a northern flicker, there's a fly, a little bit of wind. A male sharp-shinned hawk, let's see if you can see him, he will when he flies, there he is. There he is. I don't know if I captured it. That was a male sharpshinned. I know because of the size. Way too small to be anything else. The male sharpshinned is the smallest of the uh, exhibitors here in the States. Oh man, that was so cool. I heard this noise. Obviously he tried to grab something and whatever he tried to grab got away and he landed there. Poor little guy, just trying to get some lunch, you know? Trying to get some fucking lunch. All right. La Rue Française, or Fern Trail. We've made it to the top. Here we are, at the top, basically. Now we gotta follow some trails to find a road, and then we're gonna walk down to Alameda. There's the bay. This is some sort of, yeah, this is a valley. And uh, right there we got some of that invasive pasto argentino. And uh, we're working our way down to Alameda. Well, here I am, on the road, on the road again, walking up to uh, top of this little ridge and down to Alameda. This road water, it's warm. Let's see if it's sealed. Sealed is nice. No, it's torn. But this one was sealed and it's delicious. Oh man, here we go. Uh, take that health and safety. Take that. Road water. Here we are. We made it to civilization. And we had the, the gift of a road water. God damn, that was good. God damn, that was good. Here we go. Crossing the road. This is more dangerous than hiking. <laughs> 